Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Ben Clymer. I'm Audra Martin. The Wild and the Blue Jackets came into tonight's game with identical records, but there was only one team tonight that had a dominant second period, and that was Columbus. Three straight goals, just too much for the Wild to overcome, and they have another tough loss here tonight, 4-2 to two your final on the road. Well, players and coaches talk about attention to detail. That final minute is so crucial. Will the Minnesota Wild take a penalty? The final minute of the first period carries over into the second period, and that power play goal that Atkinson scored while well, Jonas Brodine was in the box was the tipping point of that game. As we now look back, the Columbus Blue Jackets rolled through that second period, carried the play, and while at times the Minnesota Wild were able to garner some offensive zone opportunities in the third, too little, too late. With a good goaltender like Bobrovsky, you're just not going to be able to come back. Yeah, good thing to see tonight. Zach Parisi extending the point streak. He now leads the team with 12 goals on the season. Cam Atkinson extends his league best nine game point streak, 15 points in that stretch. This one pretty close all across the board, but unfortunately, just the Columbus Blue Jackets, the better team here tonight in Columbus. They just outworked us in the last half of the period. I mean, it's, I don't think it was an adjustment of, of system play or anything else. I mean, they started winning the battles, and they won the battles. And, you know, I mean, it's, uh, they sort of, you know, and they continue to win the battles through probably the first 15 minutes of the second period. And then once we started to win some battles, we got some zone time and some opportunities. But you you got to you got to do it for 60 minutes. You can't do it for 15 or 20 minutes. So now the Wild return home. It's the one home game in this stretch of five for the Minnesota Wild, and it's going to be a tough one. They welcome Austin Matthews and the Toronto Maple Leafs, one of the top teams in the league right now, to the XL Energy Center. An early game, get things started at 5.30, and that's going to lead right up to what should be a pretty entertaining game, just with the fact that Austin Matthews back on the ice after missing four games, he returned a few nights ago and had a huge game. No surprise to see him pick up where he left off. And even beyond him, that team is stacked with talent. No surprise to see him pick up where he left off. But three points, two goals, scoring four minutes into the game, getting an assist only a minute later. That team is super dangerous, and they were successful without Austin Matthews in the lineup and without William Nylander. All of a sudden, they could roll into St. Paul with Austin Matthews, obviously back in action. Yeah. But William Nylander could play as well. Yeah. And obviously we're not even talking about Tavares, Riley. And I'm sure there will be a few folks fired up for Jake Gardner's return as well. Yeah, it will be a good one in St. Paul. We look forward to seeing you all then. Again, 5.30, so it's an early start. We look forward to seeing you for Wild Live presented by CenturyLink. But until then, for Ben Clymer, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Wild Breakaway.